and welcome to the Tableau data preparation course. We are already in the chapter 4 called data preparation and in this chapter we are going to cover what is dimension, what is measure, what is continuous and discrete data and various data manipulation functions like splitting, pivoting and handling nulls and I will explain you what is the Tableau metadata grid. Okay, so let's uh, jump into the you know problem directly so I have a global superstore data set and I am importing the data from global superstore into tableau desktop okay so this sheet has got uh, this excel has got three sheets so in tableau when I open I will see all the three sheets in the left pane in the data pane here and if I take orders into the tableau data palette it will show me the definitions of the data as well as couple of sample data in the preview bar okay and I'm connecting it as a live I'm not doing an extract and here these icons represents the data type hash is a number type ABC is a string calendar is a date type and this is geographical icon like it's a geographical attributes so and then you have numbers for all the measures so what is measure and what is dimension a dimension is something that cannot be aggregatable like product name product name you cannot aggregate between two like uh, these two products can't be aggregated or let's say for category you can't aggregate or let's say for geography you cannot aggregate a geography okay so anything which uh, which cannot be aggregatable is a dimension and which can aggregate uh, you know things which is the measures so don't worry tableau does everything for you and uh, you have something called a metadata grid over here here if you want to let's say remove this particular thing uh, a particular column you can hide it or let's say if you want to rename something let's say customer id to customer number you can do that so all sort of you know data modifications jugglery you can do it in the metadata grid and then you import the data here so you must have noticed that tableau groups enter data into two buckets one is dimension another is measure okay so uh, it, the tableau has already done it for you now if you drag two measures let's say sales and quantity what will happen is that it does the aggregation by default as a sum if you don't like sum or for some reason you want to make it average you can make it average also so average sales versus average quantity and now if you take uh, any particular dimension into color you can quickly see that what is the total number of average sale versus average color etc so you can see that office supplies has got uh, you know average sales is always low in compared to technology technology is average sales is always high okay now if you want to uh, don't want to aggregate things you just unaggregate things you will get all the data in one place okay now let's uh, understand little deep in deep what is uh, discrete and what is continuous so I will drag quantity field into dimension I can do that anytime I can drag and drop I can move measure to dimension and I'll put quantity over here and I put sales in the rows shelf so you can see that uh, most of the sales happens you know people buy quantity either two three four or five maximum after that it, it dies down so hardly any sales happens where you have more than 14 quantities are being bought okay so that's uh, pretty obvious and it does at a row level transactions okay now it's a it's a it's a discrete by nature so two bars are not uh, you know not lying there is a gap between two bars okay so to say so it's discrete in a, in a way if you want to for some reason if you want to make it continuous from discrete you change it to continuous you get a smooth line but it is not advisable because the data on time axis only you should plot it like a continuous otherwise you should make it as a discrete so you have already understood 
what is discrete and what is continuous let's understand uh, what is splitting the data okay for some reason if you closely observe the product name it has got the first field actually has got the company name and for some reason if you want to report sales or profit or anything against company you can't do that because you don't have that but you can intelligently do that by splitting it so i am splitting product okay so as soon as i split it it splits by the uh, first column here okay and i name it here as a company and if i take sales and uh, i can take company over here and i can quickly see that who is making me more sales okay so canon cisco samsung they are the highest uh, you know uh, selling products for my company so uh, using the tableau splitting data with no codes or nothing i can quickly understood that uh, you know by splitting that i can get some insight out of it now let's do something let's plot again sales against order and i am um, so oh what happened there's a null okay and there's a gap between it now either the data is not there or there is some issue anywhere so that is why it is like that okay so you have two option to it either if you want to deliberately show a zero sales then you put a zn function over here that means if any null is there uh, you will report as zero so it reports as zero but for some reason if you don't want to show that and simply you just want to ignore it you drag sales you drop into filter shelf and you choose special and show only non null values so you effectively you manage to handle null data which is sometimes it's very important okay now let's understand what is pivot and why it is required i have another sample data set that i have make so sometimes it happens that uh, the way you expect the data it, it is not in that form so you have to do some bit of data jugglery out of it specifically in terms of columns and all uh, you know you, you expect the data uh, dates in the row format but unfortunately it is in the column format for this case okay the data is like this now what you do i am selecting the first uh, row and i am selecting the last row and i am clicking right clicking and i am doing a pivot so what it does and then i am changing this to a date function and i am making it as order date and this is my sales and then i can do regular reporting of order and sales so pivot comes pretty handy because uh, you so so we have understood lot of uh, data manipulation functions we have understood what is continuous what is discrete what is aggregatable non aggregatable and what is measures okay so i think it's a good learning thank you we'll meet in the next chapter